Hello everybody, I hope you are doing great. I'm here with a new video about your aviation career. Uh, today I'm going to talk about another repetitive question in your most pilot's job interview and one of the most serious in-flight emergencies. In this episode, we are going to have a short discussion about nature of fire, fire classes and methods of firefighting so sit back relax and enjoy your training also if you didn't uh, subscribe our youtube channel yet or watching us from other social networks right now subscribe our channel and use more than 200 videos in our channel i'm captain said and you are watching me on aviation at home channel Now, if you're ready, let's get into our discussion. Fire. Fire is considered to be the most serious in-flight emergency. A fire must be brought under control as soon as possible. Considering how time critical this type of emergency is, it's imperative that not a second is lost in trying to suppress the fire and minimize the risk to the flight. Any fire, no matter how small, may rapidly become out of control, if not dealt with immediately. Combustion consists of three elements, oxygen, heat, and fuel. Oxygen is needed to keep the fire going. Heat is needed to ignite material. And finally, fuel is needed in the form of combustible material. Methods of firefighting. If we remove one of the three elements of the fire, then fire will go out. Removing the oxygen will smoother the fire, covering with the materials such as blanket, coat, etc. And removing the heat will cool down the fire using water-based inflammable liquid such as water, coffee, tea, or other items. Removing the fuel will starve the fire. Now, it's time to talk about classification of fire. We classify fire as class A, B, C, and D. Class A is fire that use wood, paper, clothes, and plastic as fuel source. This type of fire needs to be cooled and uh, quenched by using water. A water extinguisher should be used or a non-alcoholic liquid. For example, even tea or coffee will extinguish this class of fire. A smoke in class A fire is usually grayish brown in color can be quite thick depending on the quantity of the fuel. Class B is a fire that contains inflammable liquid, hydraulic fluid, oil or aircraft fuel. Extinguishing agent need to have blanketing effect. A hollow extinguisher would be required. A smoke in class B fire is usually black in color, very thick, very distinct, oil, petrol like other will be felt. Class C fire is involving electrical equipment. The emphasis is to place on extinguishing the fire with an element that is non-conductive and avoiding damage uh, to nearby electrical circuit and equipment. Holon extinguisher uh, should be used for this class. Before extinguishing, uh, all circuit breakers are to be switched off. Keep in mind, water conduct electricity. So, in case of class C fire, 
water-based extinguishers shall not be used. Class D fire is occur when flammable metals such as sodium, magnesium, uh, potassium, lithium catch fire due to chemical reaction which may occur between the element on fire and the extinguishing substance in class D uh, fire hollow extinguisher and water extinguishers are never used thank you for watching us on aviation at home channel this video is cooperated uh, with community aviation and i will be so happy to see your comments right here and we'll be back to you as soon as possible sit back relax and enjoy your train